severe weather preparedness week. Our weather team has been telling us about the different types of severe storms that you can expect to see in eastern Carolina. And while we do see tornadoes from time to time, many areas don't have any dedicated warning sirens. News 12's Rebecca McGann asked Craven County's Emergency Services Director what they rely on instead. I'm at the Craven County Courthouse, but if you didn't know, way back in the building is the Emergency Operations Center, the room where it happens when all of these severe weather events occur and decisions are made. But when I was looking through their operations plan, I noticed an assumption that even if all warnings and alarm bells are used, it won't be enough to prepare the general public for severe weather. I asked Craven County Emergency Management Director Stanley Kite about the lack of warning sirens, and he says there's just not a system in place, especially in the rural parts of Craven County. He says even if there were sirens, they likely wouldn't be heard unless there were a lot of them, and the county isn't eligible for the FEMA grants that would fund enough sirens to make a difference. There are alarms at fire stations, but Kite says when the county tried to use those for severe weather warnings, it created more confusion than it it helped. A lot of people moving into the area, they heard it, but they didn't know what it meant. Uh, they didn't know how to separate a weather alert from a emergency such as a, a motor vehicle accident or a structure fire. Uh, it also became disruptive for people who were working shift work to hear sirens going off every time there was a thunderstorm. Kite says the number one way to alert the public is an NOAA weather alert radio. An emergency management highly encourages every home and business has one tuned to their area for the most accurate alerts and warnings. It'll play a loud series of beeps as soon as a warning is issued. And there are attachments or modifications you can get for people who are disabled. It can work like a smoke detector. It can work at night while you sleep. It doesn't have to be noisy or disruptive. It has been one of the most reliable sources that we have found to get you 24-7, 365 notices of something going on. While the city of New Bern typically doesn't handle alerting the public to severe weather, they have resources to help residents prepare. There are checklists that you can download that not only help you prepare for the storm, but they also give some advice on what to do after the storm. And though hurricane season is still a few months away, Kite says it's never too early to get ready. Always be prepared. You need to make a plan now. You don't need to wait until the storm is here or until an event is here. Just start thinking about what you need to do for you and your family. Where are you going to go? Where are you going to relocate if you need to relocate? What items do you need to have? You need to be able to sustain on your own without being able to go to the grocery store or the drugstore. Now, if you want to start preparing, WCTI will have an opportunity for you here in the next couple of months. Coming up in May, we'll have Weather Radio Wednesday where Donnie Cox will be out, and he can tune those weather radios for you to make sure you have all of those updated warnings and get you prepared for severe weather. Live in Craven County, Rebecca McGann for News 12.